Greetings from Croatia. My name is Yvonne. I'm a copywriter and for a little while this year, an online English teacher. For lack of a better term, I call myself a digital nomad. So far in 2021, I've spent three months living in Croatia. I was lucky enough to spend about a third of that time in Croatia's jewel city and most popular destination, Dubrovnik, commonly referred to as the Pearl of the Adriatic. It's nestled in the very southern tip of Croatia in the Dalmatian region. This romantic city certainly has its beauty and charms. I'm still dreaming of it and likely always will. To keep myself afloat while traveling, I have to spend a lot of hours on my laptop making a living, but that helps me appreciate and savor my offline time even more. What free time I had in Dubrovnik, I feel was very well spent. In this video, I'll take you along for a couple of weekend outings with my awesome new friend, a fellow digital nomad, Marie. Enjoy, and thanks for coming along. Okay, happy weekend. Yesterday, Marie and I went to the island called La Pod, and it was amazing, it was beautiful. Uh, on the ferry, we actually ran into um, a YouTuber that you might have heard of, the Americanka and her name is Nuando, and it was super cool. I got to say hi on the ferry, and we actually ended up hanging out for a little bit on the beach in La Paz, Sunset Beach. And yeah, I hope I run into her again, and we hang out later on. Um, but Nuando, if you're watching this, it was so nice to meet you. And then today, Marie is going back up to Split, but she just invited me to go to the Red Museum downtown, and we're gonna check it out, and I'll get a sense of some of the history of um, relations in this area. All right, see you in a bit. I did not pronounce it correctly earlier, but Lopud Island is about 14 kilometers away from Dubrovnik by ferry. FYI, there are no car ferries to this location. As with many of the local islands, Lopud is a beautiful spot for both swimming and hiking. The ferry costs about 23 kuna for each direction. After visiting Lopud on a day trip, I really wish that I could return later for an overnight here or even a super relaxed weekend. There's just enough to see and do over two to three days at a relaxed pace. If you arrive around midday, there are several nice cafes and restaurants just a short walk from the ferry where you can have lunch or you can do what we did and walk about 20 minutes to the other side of the island to reach Sydney Beach. It's a flat and easy trail, but you can also take a ride on a golf cart straight across in just half the time, which may be super convenient for really hot summer days. And a lot of the beaches in Croatia are really rocky, so it's nice to find a beautiful sand beach like this one. You can also rent umbrellas for about 30 kuna. No matter what you do, make sure to wear your sunscreen and protect your skin. That way you can sunbathe and float in the salty water to your heart's content. My party boat has arrived. <laughs> After some great swimming, plus whatever that was, Marie and I walked back across the island where we found ourselves some wine and pizza near the ferry port. In this village, you can easily grab a nice spot for dinner with a view of Lopid Island's 15th century monastery. We were enjoying the slow pace of the day so much that we were nearly late for our ferry. Our raider told us that we were really cutting it close and he helped pack up our pizza and wine to go. It's a good thing he did since we hadn't booked accommodation for the night. We ran to the dock to catch the last ferry off the island for the night. This is one of the many times I've been like, we live here? This is my life now? This is so cool. If 
you're enjoying this video so far, please let me know by quickly liking this video or writing a comment. Or if it pleases you, please subscribe. That will go a long way in helping this tiny channel grow and also motivate me to keep sharing these experiences. Please stick around. I have a lot more Croatia videos to follow this one up with. So all of this was just Saturday. Let me show you what Marie and I got up to the next day. But I have one other thing to show you first. Snacks! It's time for another taste test. Let's do another taste test. Um, this is very popular. Um, like wafer chocolate um, candy here in Croatia called Napolitanke. But I'll give this a try. I have eaten a little bit of it before and I did like it a lot. Um, let me try a square. I wonder how many days. <laughs> It'll take for me to go through it. Hopefully, not too few. I'd like this to be an available snack for at least a few days, but we'll see. Mm. Mm. I love it. <laughs> Mine's really like Nutella. That's super light. Um, I don't love sweet things too much, but the Polite Talk game, I think it's a good score. Mmm. Good little after lunch dessert. <laughs> so finally, for Marie's last day in Dubrovnik, we headed back to the Grush neighborhood to the Red History Museum. The entrance fee was 50 kuna. As anyone would tell you, geography and politics in Croatia and the Balkans in general is pretty complicated and can be rather sensitive. So it's very important and helpful to look into the local history. This interactive museum is super informative and also has plenty of interactive displays, which can make for an interesting experience for visitors to say the least. We thought the exhibit did a really good job of covering the history and the everyday realities of Croatia during its socialist days before the Homeland War of the 1990s. This is an interactive museum. <laughs> also says, are you an alcoholic? <laughs> you can touch the props, listen to old records, and even type on an old-fashioned typewriter. Of course, there are also lots of interesting photographs and stories from these decades on display as well. So what do you think of my new ride? This is a Yugo, the car of the era that's the focus of this museum. Finally, it was time for a bittersweet farewell to Marie until we would reunite a few weeks later in Zagreb. And you'll see her again in future videos. Thanks Marie, lots of fun. So that wraps it up for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Follow Puno. I'll see you in the next video. Vidimo se.